Welcome to a new Java interview question. This question is in steps. So once you finish one of the steps, the interviewer will slightly change or give a new condition and you have to fulfill it. So here initially you are given a list of integers and you have to get square root of the numbers in a list and print it. So you might start something like this. You can get the numbers and then stream it. And then you can map the numbers use math dot square root and then collect it in a collectors dot to list so square root gives you a double so we will store this in a list of double let's call it as result and we can simply come here and print the result so you get 10 20 and 30 now here the interviewer will tell you that okay there is a null inside the list too now if you run the program you get a null pointer exception when you try to come on line 6 and do a math square root now you have to handle it that's the new requirement so what can you do here one way will be you simply come here and Put a filter which will say that the number is not equal to null and if you check your program runs fine the interviewer will come back and say no i want to know which item actually threw an exception or what happened to it now the problem is we are filtering out everything so if you put two more nulls here we'll never know what happened to it so what should we do about this so one thing is that we can remove this particular thing completely and maybe we can put a map here and then we can say okay a defensive check which will take our number and we'll try to handle this so let's create a defensive inside once we get a number let's try to return a double here so we'll take the integer we'll put it in a try block and also we'll take a catch block inside the exception we can simply return a zero else from here we can do a double dot value of n and let's put a semicolon here so here if it throws an exception you can simply do whatever you want you can send an email if it's an object you can do whatever you want so so now if you run we know that there was a null which came from here here you can notify you can send an email you can log it somewhere or if it's a message you can put it in some kind of a dead letter queue to handle it afterwards or something like that so now mostly your program is done but now the programmer comes up with a new condition he says that i want to send an array list of double year so maybe he will make it as zero zero and then he'll come here and he will put a zero yet now you have a numbers one and you can put a one here but now if you see our defensive check is not working because it has been defined for an integer and we are sending a double here now we can put a overloaded double check here but what happens if we get a numbers or another list here of some different type then we cannot keep on overloading it so we have to come up with a generic method which can take whatever we give and gives us the right answer 
so if you see here we are passing a number and then we are performing an operation and then we return a type so we can try to use the functional interface which will represent the function and it will take an input so how about we copy the same thing and instead of taking an integer we just call it i or item also if we come here we'll give it a function so we'll have a function which is a functional interface and it takes two parameters so let's say input comma output and here while returning let's return a optional so it might have a value it might not have a value let uh, let us return o here so we'll return the output here so let's also define our i and o as type so we have i and o here so now we don't really let's call this op so we have an operation which will be performed on the input integer or whatever type it is and then let's try to return a optional so we have our optional here and we'll call off and then we'll simply apply whatever operation we are passing on n if we get an exception we basically can print it here and we can return a dot empty we'll take care of whatever type we are sending so let's define a function which will work on integers so let's define a function so we have a function which is going to take an integer the first list so let's tell that it's an integer which is an input and it is going to return an optional of double so that is going to be our output and let's call it f1 and this is the operation which is going to be performed so let's say that we give it a number the input and then we are going to operation as optional dot off so the return type will be double dot of number the number we are giving as input so this will become our first operation let's just try this one so we get a number here and we are going to give the operation so this will take our f1 comma number then this is failing because it is saying that the type math does not define square root for optional of double because it takes a double also if you see our defensive returns an empty too so here we need to filter out optional and if it is present that is it is not empty then we let it go forward and simply let's get the number the result which we got from there so we'll simply say get and let's call square root and give it dot get this should be enough now if you run it we get our numbers we can simply copy this in the second case we can pass it here and here we can write double and then name it as 2 and now we can simply give it as 2 here and then 2 here and our result will work even here so with minimal changes you can perform the operations so just to make sure that it's a uh, working in this case and not the first one let's call it and we get this so this is the way you can actually use optional you can use generics and you can handle defensively whatever you put inside your stream without bursting the stream open with an exception. Thanks.